Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. So, you got yourself a PS Audio Phono Stellar preamp? Very good choice. And after a few months or maybe weeks, you started to have problems with the remote control? We have a solution. Let's go. Okay guys, yes, unfortunately there is this problem. I don't know how many units are affected by this, but there is an IC, here you can see an image, that is creating problems. What is happening? Very simple, the remote control does not work. And with the Phono uh, PS Audio Stellar preamp, you can't operate <laughs> without it. So. It's kind of a fundamental issue if you have that. But there is an excellent and free of cost solution. What is that? Very simple. I contacted PS Audio. They were very nice. And they sent me, it took a while, but it, they, they, they did send me free of cost, free of charge, obviously I would say, but you never know. Some people get kind of fussy around that. Uh, a kit in order to change that problematic, that issue, and that IC. Not only, as you're gonna see, the kit also includes tools, different tools, in order to do it properly, uh, completely safe, and effectively. So you just have to contact them, or your dealer, or your distributor, along the chain, someone, and it's easy to do, and it's easy to do it by your own, with your own hands, so you don't have to send it back to the shop, and things like that, it's very, very easy. And now you're gonna see how much it is. Let's take a look. Okay guys, here we have our PS Audio Phono Stellar. And after I contacted them, they sent me this kit, which includes this special band, wristband, in order to dissipate the electrostatic charge, dedicated pliers, in order to extract the IC, the new IC, which I'm gonna have to install, plus the instructions. Very clear, in color, just have to unscrew everything and extract the IC and put it back right here, as it, say, as it says here. I think you can see it. There you go, okay. So, we're gonna have to remove all these screws. I'm gonna have to use a good Phillips screwdriver, dedicated, and let's start. Okay, now we can remove the top. Here we go. Whoops. The little logo fell off. Okay. Put this right back here afterwards. Haha, -ha. we have it on the other side, but no problem. And there it is. Very nice. Here it's practically empty and everything is concentrated on this side. Okay, now you can see it better. There it is. See the notch is on this side. So we're gonna have to replace it in that same direction. Let's put on our little wrist. I think you can see it. Okay, here we are. You have to put on this little wrist just to make sure nothing happens and attach it, for example, I don't know, here. There you go. Okay. Here we have a pair of tweezers. Okay. 
Well, let's start. It feels like I'm gonna operate a heart of somebody. Okay. We got it. Here's the new one. Voila. Like a little caterpillar. Yep, there it is. Don't be afraid. All nice and firm and perfectly operated. And that's it. You can just close it back up. Okay, guys, you've seen how easy it is. So please try and do it yourself. Just a few screws, a little bit of determination in extracting that IC, and you're good to go then at that point. And I think, I mean, instead of going through the hassle of sending it back and forth, uh, uh, maybe it's going to get lost, maybe it's going to get damaged. I mean, it's just easier to do it by yourself. And it's not difficult, trust me. Okay, guys? Well, I hope you enjoyed this short, very short video. But I, th it's, I think it's something useful. I think it was something, uh, it was worth sharing with you guys. Okay, guys. Remember, after all of this, music was born analog. Bye. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.